Well, that was an old one. I wonder if it had any association to this church there. I wonder if any of the pastors or or any of the you know the groundskeeper's house maybe like who knows I'm gonna have to do some research when I when I get home I, I'm, I would assume not because I would think that if it was part of the church that they would be taking care of the grounds here but but yeah oldest church in Manitoba Built in 1853. It's a stone church, right? And it's not the original church. There was actually another church before this one. And it was to serve the indigenous uh, people that were living in the area. And I'm not sure what happened to that church. But this church was built almost in the exact same spot in 1853. I'm pretty sure that it's the oldest church. Oh, how pretty. I'm sure it's the oldest church in Manitoba. I'm not sure because St. Anne's Church is pretty old too. That's a log church. Maybe that's the oldest log church left in Manitoba. And this one is stone, but there are lots of old, old grave sites here. And grave sites prior to when we were actually a province and prior to when we were actually even a country. Yeah. Lots of family plots in here. Let's see if we can see the date on this one. Oh, I guess those are flowers that somebody planted, like annuals that come up every year. Yeah, I can't see the date on that one. Died 1894 on that one. Oh, he was a voyageur. Oh, isn't that excellent? Okay, interesting. Yeah, there would have been a lot of voyageurs going on and fur traders going on at that time, right? Yeah, some really, really beautiful. I don't normally do graveyards, but this is died 1868. Holy moly, that's an old one. Eighteen forty six. Died in 1846. Wow, that's a really old one. This one here, you can't see the date. But, but beautiful spot. Beautiful river spot here. 1881. Aw, babies. Yeah, I know there's some baby gravestones over here. But what a beautiful, beautiful spot. Yeah, so I just wanted to get out and about today and get some fresh air and I saw a historic site sign so I thought I would stop by because I've never been by here. Like I see it because all the time, but I usually drive on the highway on the other side of the river and today, I was just out and about. See, died 1890, 1897, 1892. Yeah, those are babies. And the doors are open, so I'm pretty excited because I've never been in this church, so it's going to be neat too. But this here I thought was interesting. When I came in, I saw this, you know, and it's dated here on this step. It says... 1929 right but it leads right up to the church from the river so I was wondering whether or not that was where they, like they docked the boats like the people in the area would just bring their boats up here on Sundays you know or their or their dog sleds right in the winter time 
But then again, I thought, well, maybe they did it for baptism, right? I don't know. You know, it's, they're really nice steps, obviously leading to the water. So it was obviously for, for something. So maybe boats, but you never know. But it's going to be pretty exciting to go into the church. Oh, I didn't bring any change with me, and I'm sure they've got a donation box. So, oldest church in Manitoba, and it's a stone church. I like looking at hardware, door hardware. See, they have a donation box. I'll have to come back. I'll have to come back. But isn't it wonderful that they trust the public just to come in and, you know, and look at it. It's perfect. And they just leave it open for the public, you know, to come and appreciate. But yeah, I'll have to go back to the car and get a donation for sure. I love the smell of these old places. Love the ceiling. It's a really big church. Like for sure, if you could get, yeah, you could get a few hundred people in here for sure. Oh, look at all the old furniture that they're not using. I saw something like this, like just wood, handmade. I saw that go at the auction one time for 300 and something dollars for something like that, almost exactly the same. And, uh, and then there was another little table, and they weren't bidding on it. Well, I, that one went for 300 and something, so I went ahead and I, and I bid, and I got a table almost exactly like that, but they were grandfathered pieces, so that's why nobody was bidding on them. They weren't worth as much, but they came from the same prominent home, right? And it's really cool in here. It's really hot outside, but it's, it's very cool in here. What a pretty window. See, nobody bothers to mess with the windows or anything here. Like, yeah, Manitobans are the best, right? Because otherwise you would see and Well, that was, that was interesting. Let's see what's in this case here. Yeah, amazing, amazing that, that they just trust the public. Ooh, like even this indigenous stuff. Yeah, look at that. Okay. Okay. Well, that was interesting. Just a short little, little explorer. And yeah, gee, just what a beautiful spot. Beautiful spot and beautiful, beautiful old trees. Oh, I should take a couple of pictures of trees before I leave.